Hello to my friends in therapeutic professions, such as music therapy, occupational therapy, recreation therapy, and more. In this past year of the pandemic, there's been one idea that has come out of music therapy that is being used all over the world. Has it been advised to you to wash your hands thoroughly while singing Happy Birthday twice? Well, that's a music therapy approach. Here's what I mean. Music therapists seek non-musical goals through the use of music. In this case, the non-musical goal is washing your hands for a significant period of time. And the use of music is using Happy Birthday to determine that amount of time. Awesome concept. A similar concept is used over and over in occupational octaves piano. We seek non-musical goals through playing the piano. So if you're an occupational therapist, you can use occupational octaves piano to work on strengthening the hand of somebody who, say, had a stroke. If you are in recreation therapy or arts therapy, can you imagine bringing Beethoven's Furalise on the piano out of the fingers of your own clients to a reality? And to my friends in the world of music therapy, something very special, the opportunity to hunt down those non-musical goals while also achieving musical goals. Occupational Octus Piano is well thought out to be brought directly into your program to seek meeting the goals that your clients need. We not only have our paperback books and our digital books, but we also have a cloud-based platform that has all these goals laid out in a way that you can use, record the data, and use the data with ease. Here at Occupational Octus Piano, we want to see everyone playing and everyone using the piano for wonderful purposes. Come on and book a demo so we could chat about exactly how occupational octaves fits into your career. Join us on the journey for piano today, piano tomorrow, and piano for life.